Bentornati! In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can learn Italian or any language more successfully. This is a very different video from the videos I usually make, but I think this is a very interesting topic and many many students want to learn more about this and I hope I can give you a few tips and tricks so that you can learn Italian more effectively. So everything I will talk to you about I have based on my experience as a language teacher uh, so I've been a private uh, Italian tutor for more than seven years now um, and also uh, from my personal experience of learning a second language English. So the first you want to think about when you want to learn a language is your motivation to learn the language. So motivation is simply the reason why someone wants to learn a new language. If you're on this channel I suppose you want to learn the Italian language but the tips I'm giving you today are valid for any other language that you want to learn in the future as well. So motivation is simply the reason why someone wants to learn the language, in this case Italian. And I think motivation is at the base of your Italian learning journey, uh, whether you're uh, trying to study on your own or with a tutor. So everyone has their own uh, reason why they want to learn Italian. But I would say there are two main uh, types of motivation, extrinsic motivation and intrinsic motivation. So extrinsic motivation is when you study Italian for someone else, Basically, someone else told you to study Italian, maybe for a language test, for study or for work. So let's say you want to study Italian to gain something, say gaining something that's external, like a language certificate, a job, enrolling onto an education course or something like that. So, so this type of motivation is effective in the short term. Uh, what you really need to focus on is your, the other type of motivation, which is the intrinsic motivation. So intrinsic motivation is when you want to study the language for yourself. So um, students I've met sometimes wanted to learn Italian because they had family in Italy, um, they had parents or grandparents that were Italian, so they wanted to honor their roots. It could have been just for a holiday. Yeah, so they love to spend time in Italy and they want to go on holiday and being able to communicate while they're there. So this type of motivation is really, really good and it will work in the long term because it is based on your interests and on your desire to learn the language. It could be a desire for personal development and it can even be tied to our own identity. So if I say that I am Italian, Obviously, I want to learn how to speak the language. So my first tip for you is if you are struggling learning a language in the long term, think about your motivation. So why did you start in the first place? Why did you want to learn Italian in the first place? And this will help you to not lose your motivation and to learn the language more effectively, to not give up when things get hard. Also, reflecting on your goals and visualizing them can help you succeed. There is a direct link between the level of motivation and the success in learning a new language. Now, the second thing I would like to talk to you about is the four areas or four skills that someone needs to have to be a successful language learner. So the four skills you need to know in any language, in this case Italian, are speaking, writing, listening and reading. It is really important not to focus on just one area or a couple of areas and forget the other areas because you need to have a high level of skills in all four to be able to learn a language successfully. In fact, we learn a language to be able to communicate and interact with others. And this can be in the form of speaking to people, listening to what they say, being able to read written information and being able to write, so to communicate by writing. So reading and writing go hand in hand. So if you're quite good at reading, you will probably develop your writing quite fast. If you want to learn how to spell a word, let's say the Italian word penicoptero, one way you can learn this word is by reading it, reading it many times, so that you will memorize the spelling and you will be able to write it. In fact, if you just hear people say penicoptero, 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 you won't necessarily be able to know how to spell the word. You need to read it to 
see it written. However, to develop your speaking skills, it's very important that you are good at listening. Very, very often, students complain about the fact that they can understand the language, but they cannot speak it. This is a common problem, but you have to remember that uh, listening and speaking go hand in hand. And very often, listening develops before speaking. However, you need to remember that you need to practice your listening to be able to speak. And consistency is key. So uh, my tip for you is to be consistent. Consistently uh, try to focus on those four areas because they're all part of learning the language. Now, grammar is important, but I personally think that uh, grammar alone cannot make you a successful Italian learner or language learner. However, I think it is essential that we know the grammar because we cannot learn how to write and read correctly or speak um, without knowing the grammar. But I think it needs to be understood, but we need to put it in practice using the four skills all the time. Now, the next topic I want to talk to you about is different learning styles. We cannot think that we all learn the same way. So different people learn in different ways. And this is a mistake we make sometimes because we use the same methods and techniques as everyone else, but not necessarily those techniques and methods work for us because we all have different learning styles. I'm going to explain them to you now. So if you feel like you're failing at learning the language or you're not benefiting from self-study language courses and you think you're not learning fast enough or well enough, maybe you're not using the right um, method or technique that's suitable for your learning style. So the four main learning styles are visual, auditory, reading and writing, and kinesthetic. Let's start with the visual. So people with this learning style often learn better when information is presented to them visually. So in terms of pictures, diagrams, flowcharts, symbols, and their strength is normally that they're able to um, memorize the visual stimuli and the information they're learning visually. So they have a graphic memory. The second learning style, the auditory one, you can guess it from the word, is obviously when someone learns better when they hear the information presented to them orally. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you have watched previous videos, you are an auditory learner because you really like to um, absorb the information when you hear it. And these people are normally good listeners and they can often remember uh, things that are being said in detail. The third one is reading and writing. Uh, some people that um, have this learning style benefit from classic um, Italian classes, maybe. So language classes or uh, just by reading, maybe self-study is good for them like reading the information and reading books as well. And they're also really good at note-taking during classes. So these people can comprehend very easily textbooks and written materials. And the last one is kinesthetic. Kinesthetic learners love to do things. So they learn while they do. So it's like a tactile experience and an action experience. So they remember best when they use movement. And their strength is that they often remember uh, things and tasks after they do it once. So you can have one prevalent learning style or a mix of them. Uh, in general, we all learn better when we use all four of them. It's been in fact documented that the most successful learners are the ones that use all four at the same time. However, uh, if you're aware of which one uh, is the best type for you, you can save on uh, time and resources. Finally, I want to talk to you about confidence. So I think confidence is the most important uh, thing you have to think about to become uh, a successful language learner. So confidence is the belief that we are successful at, at doing something. And it is based on previous experiences. So I've been able to observe this firsthand with my students. Some of them are really fearless and they try with, with their speaking and they try and write as much as they can without um, having, without fearing making mistakes. Some other students are a bit more um, fearful and careful. I don't, they don't want to make mistakes and they um, are quite shy at speaking and they think too long um, before oral production 
um, they think too long about the grammar and the rules and, and so they, they, they are quite stuck because they don't have the confidence to try and um, to try and speak or write like other people do and I can say that those that are more confident um, improve faster than uh, who is not very confident so I want you to think about um, how children learn speaking so when babies start saying the first few words um, obviously adults are very complimentary uh, and uh, they cheer on them uh, because they are saying the first words they find that very nice and very uh, exciting and uh, so children um, receive positive feedback all the time and they don't worry about uh, you know making mistakes and I think that's the right way for adults to learn a new language like children do we must try not to be afraid of saying the word wrong or saying the wrong word or make simple sentences uh, and trying to complicate them with too much grammar I think that if we use the same approach as kids do uh, we will be much more successful and um, I want you to remember that making mistakes is fine it actually uh, helps us to um, learn new rules so also don't worry about being judged by other people because in the same way um, we cheer on children when they say the first few words uh, we cheer on people that uh, try to speak a different language um, so even if you have an accent don't be afraid or don't be shy uh, just because you have an accent uh, the accent is actually proof of your courage and confidence so you must feel empowered by this not everyone knows more than one language and well done actually if you're on this channel because it means, it means you want to learn Italian successfully also I like to think that confidence and uh, speaking skills or uh, language skills in general is a two-way process so um, if we are more confident we will uh, try more and if we try more we become more confident so accept the challenge, go out of your comfort zone as much as you can and you will see the results. I hope you enjoyed this video and this has been useful for you. If you're interested in finding out uh, what's your learning style and to have an assessment on your Italian language skill, you can book a one-to-one -one session with me. Details are in the description box below. So I hope to see some of you and otherwise have a great Italian learning journey and I hope to be part of your journey. So if you are interested in learning more Italian and Italian culture, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!